All right, we just finished up Gunnersville Fantasy Fishing Bassmaster Lead Series, and now it's time for the Bassmaster Classic. This is the most biggest, exciting Bassmaster Elite Series championship event of the season, and you aren't going to want to miss this. Stay tuned for the picks. This is going to be an amazing week of Bassmaster Live. We'll recap Gunnersville super quick, and then we're going to get into the picks. And don't forget, stay to the end, because we will talk about Drain the Lake, and Bassmaster Classic is a little bit different for Drain the Lake. There's some new anglers to pick from. Congrats to Jay Morrison. He is our winner for the Gunnersville Tournament. I sent you an email through the Bassmaster. If you haven't heard from me, reach out to me, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can, leave a comment below. But I did send you a note on how to get your prize. Also, congrats to ZK Marshall. He's our Drain the Lake winner. No prize for you this week, but I want to shout you out. Nice job on Drain the Lake. Poop. 04 is holding on with just three events to go to be the overall winner for Bassmaster Fancy Fishing, but there are a handful of anglers right behind them looking good. Don't worry if you haven't won yet or you don't plan to win. Don't forget, you can always use code Hellabass Spring 15 to save 15% on Amia Fishing, and then you can all be winners and get gear at a good price and ships super fast. Check them out. Now let's jump in to my Gunnersville picks and then into the classic picks. Quick look at Gunnersville. It was tough on a lot of fantasy players and fairly tough on me as well. A, B, and C all went pretty well. Obviously, some top 10s would have been a lot better. Uh, Seth was actually looking really good coming out of day two. It just didn't quite work out. Bucket D, Clint Davis really let me down. I thought he'd be really solid. Um, it just didn't work out for him. I'm sure he really tried to do really well fishing offshore, and then fish just did not come and show up in time. Right, but Latuso, I knew that was a bit of a gamble. Bucket he always is, so not too disappointed. But onward and upward, on to the Bassmaster Classic picks, Lake Ray Roberts. Starting with Bucket D, uh, some decent anglers in this bucket. It's a little, the cover's a little less bare than it normally is in Bucket E. I think Justin Kerr is in a fabulous anchor. He's won the U.S. Open. He's a Arizona, California, West Coast, Arizona angler. Uh, Qualified through the Bass Nation National Championships at Pickwick that I also fish. We actually shared some of the same spots. He's definitely a great angler, somebody to watch out for. Jordan Wiggins, brother of Jesse Wiggins, terrific angler. Shane LeHue, a very talented Bassmaster Elite Series anglers. Lots of good picks. Uh, Mayasuki Matsushita won an event on Sam Rayburn. That could think that could definitely translate. I'm sure he's done plenty of homework. T Japanese anglers tend to do very well in Texas. They just seem to mesh really well. They, they understand the water. But for me, Keith Carson, John Cox team partner. John Cox has said that he is one of the most talented fishermen that he has ever fished with. I think he's going to be motivated. Uh, he won an open to get here. A very good angler. He won a uh, NFL and he also won an NPFL tournament on Wright Patton, which is a Texas reservoir, so he knows how to catch some Texas bass. Uh, the crest liner should be really good for getting around that timber on Lake Ray Roberts, so I'm going to go with Keith Carson. A low percentage at less than 6%. Uh, I like my odds, and I think he could do some really special things at Ray Roberts. Moving on to Bucket D, uh, Matt Airy has got uh, a decent... <clears throat> Moving on to Bucket D. Uh, there's a couple of really good deep anglers here like Jason Williamson, Chad Pipkins, Paul Mueller, uh, lots of guys that could do really well. Uh, Matt Airy, I'm sure, would love to get himself a classic. Chris Jones, Oklahoma guy, that could be an interesting pick. Uh, Brad Watley is from Texas. I think Austin Felix could be super sneaky in this bucket. He loves his electronics. He loves offshore. I could see him spending every minute of his practice time graphing looking for that deep water offshore juice and if he finds it he could be a force to reckon with but i like brian new he won his very first bassmaster open he ever fished he won his very first bassmaster lead series why not make a big splash at your first bassmaster classic plus he's an uber talented angler a very natural angler works super hard uh, i like brian new and bucket d and so do most of you based on the percentage <clears throat> Bucket C, uh, there's a few interesting anglers in here uh, that could do well, a lot of talent. Uh, obviously, John Cox, uh, Jeff Gustafson, a few others. Uh, Kyle Welcher, who I've picked many, many times. He's the fan favorite in this bucket. But for me, Luke Palmer, I think, is like a win or two away from being like the next Todd Faircloth out of Oklahoma. He's a very consistent angler. Not many people talking about him. He's got a few top tens. Um I think this could be a big stage for him to make a big splash, and uh, then everybody will know his name. So I'm really pulling for Luke Palmer, putting him on my team. 
that's my pick. Uh, there's a few interesting picks in this bucket. Maybe a Buddy Gross, who's a, a Brandon Card, guys that really like offshore. Uh, I just got a sneaky feeling about Palmer, and at uh, around 10%, pretty good value. Bucket B, uh, things are starting to get interesting. Mullins, offshore cranker. Brandon Lester, very talented angler. I'd love to see him win a classic. Scott Canterbury, a former AOI. Uh, Johnston, uh, a very good angler. Love to see Stephen Kennedy do really well. He did really well at Conroe. I could see him, you know, he does not care. He fishes free. He'll be fishing for big fish. He'll be fishing to win. That could be very dangerous for him in the classic field as well as for your fancy roster. It could be a boomer bust, but I like I like Kennedy this week. But ultimately, I'm going Taco Itu. When I see what he did on Toledo Bend, what he did on Lake Fork, I just think with these highly pressured fish close to the Dallas metro area, Lake Roberts has big fish. I think he'll figure out some unusual techniques to get some big bites and do some really great things this week at Lake Ray Roberts. Like we did at Fork, he was catching some giants in a really unique way. Uh, and that just Japanese anglers doing well in Texas. I think this could be a big event for him. And uh, I think he's a sneaky good pick at like 8%. Lastly, bucket A, you can't hardly go wrong with any of these anglers. You've got the defending champ. You've got Blaylock, who's an offshore specialist, super talented angler. Cody Bird, local angler from Texas, probably one of the most home field advantages. Matt Heron won a PAA event here. Uh, the Johnstons are good. Clark Wentland, legendary angler from Texas. Mosley, one of the hottest anglers on the Bass Match Elite Series Tour. Fighter, same thing, super hot, probably going to win AOI. Zaldane lives just down the road. I'm sure he put in the work. He's going to throw the big bites. He may finish last. He may finish first. Uh, Walters, live scope, aficionado. If there's a suspending bite, it could be amazing. But I'm going BP, Brandon Polnick. Thinking back to Brandon Polnick's 2017 win, Texas Fest on Sam Rayburn, where he was bouncing from like Shad's Bond to, to, to deep brush, to offshore, to shallow fish, and doing whatever you need to do to get a big bag and big bites every day. I think that's the type of fishing style and what it will take to win this week at Ray Roberts. And I think Polnick is one of the best post-spawn adjusting anglers and is well-suited with those electronics, all the tools he has to do very well this week. So he's my pick. In bucket A, I think he's going to be the way to go. 54 pounds, 9 ounces is what I have for my tiebreaker. I think it could be low as high 40s, around 50 pounds, and I could be up to about 60 pounds. That's what I'm thinking for uh, weights this week. Now let's jump in to drain the lake. <clears throat> All right, let's make our drain the lake picks. We are going to take Bird, Blaylock. Cody Bird's a good local Texas hammer. Uh, Blay likes a great offshore fisherman. Keith Carson, for all the reasons we mentioned before in our regular fantasy picks. Then we're going to go Walters because he's a sniper with live scope, and hopefully that plays. Clark Lintlin, Texas, he knows what's going on. Whitaker, he's a safe pick. I feel like he should get me some solid points regardless of what happens. Zaldane, because he's a big bait specialist and he knows what's up in Texas, and I'm sure he did some pre-practicing. So there's our one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight picks for Drain the Lake. Saving a few hammers left for the last two minutes. Make sure you don't burn all those Johnstons and Fighters and all the people you want for Champlain and the St. Lawrence. All right, that's the Bassmaster Classic Lake Ray Rubber Fantasy Fishing Picks. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that helps you out. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video, so you always get your fancy fishing picks in. If you enjoyed the content, hit a like. If you want to continue to catch more big bass and suck less, check out one of these two videos coming up right here.